Wow, amazing destruction! Okay! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Recovery Weevil. My name is Stefano and today I'm gonna show you what I think might be a good competitive and consistent way of playing Evil Talk Amazing Rare. I think we all would like Evil Soul to be the star of a deck and just draw all prize cards on its own. However, I don't think that's possible because it needs 5 energies. 5 energies of very weird colors and so I don't think you can power up more than a couple in a game. Evil Soul only has 110 HP, so no matter who you knock out, your opponent will find a way to knock you out back. So that is why I decided to try and come up with an idea that allows me to play Evil Soul because I do want to play Evil Soul in a deck. This Evil Soul deck plays Nagalore, Evil Soul, and Cremorant. These are the main attackers, and you power them up with Porygon Z. And I believe this is a deck that can be competitive, and it's a ton of fun to play. So let's check out the list. The main attacker of this deck is Neganadol and Gazlord GX. Negalor, as we're gonna call it during this video, has an amazing ability, an amazing main attack and an amazing GX attack. The deck is based upon this card. With Violent Appetite, you can discard a Pokémon from your hand and remove 60 damage from this Pokémon. This is pretty good because if you're playing against Eternatus with all these Zigzagoons and you have a Big Charm attached, and we play two also for this reason, then you can remove those extra damage counters, thanks to that ability, and Eternatus will never knock you out in one hit. Jet Pierce deals 180 damage and it is the perfect attack to knock out any kind of 2 prize Pokémon, except Zacian, Boltan, but the exceptions are really few. We are interested in attacking the Dene, Eldegoss, Crobar, but even one prize Pokémon like Volcanion or Jirachi. And then we got the GX attack. GX attack, Chaotic Order GX, says Turn all your prize cards face up, if you only have one energy, but that's not what we're interested in. This Pokémon has at least one extra Psychic energy and one extra Darkness energy attached to it, which means the same energies you have for your main attack, then you can take two prize cards. And this is awesome because we can draw two prize cards from as soon as turn two, we can choose the prize cards we draw and we can choose the prize cards we're gonna draw for the rest of the game. So, you usually wanna start your game by using this GX attack. Then you wanna use Jet Pierce to knock out a 2 prize Pokémon. I mean, who doesn't bench a Dedenne, Crobat or Eldegoss in the first 2 or 3 turns of the game? In some cases, they will bench more than one Dedenne, Crobat or Eldegoss. And so you can punish them with Cremorant V. Cremorant V, well, it has a pretty good first attack with big catch you can search the deck for up to two cards and put them in your hand. You can find yourself a rare candy Porygon Z, and so you're ready to go. But people always marn you, so I don't recommend attacking with the Cramorant. The reason we play Cramorant though is Speed Shot. Thanks to Speed Shot, you will discard all your energy from Cramorant B, and we play no recycled energy, so don't exaggerate with this attack, just keep it as an extra attack they use only occasionally and you deal 160 damage to any Pokémon into play. So, if you drew two prize cards with Nagalord, two more prize cards knocking out, for instance, a Crobat or a Dedenne, and there is still a Dedenne into play, well, you already won your game with three attacks. However, most of your opponents won't let you do that. And that's why we have Evil Soul Amazing Rare. It's a very easy card to read, there is only one attack, which is pretty simple. Your opponent's active Pokémon, is knocked out. However, you need five energies to pull it off. These energies are basically the same as uh, Nagalord, except you need one fire energy, but we use Aurora energy in that case. Five energy is a lot, and that is why we play Porygon Z to power it up. With Porygon Z, you can attach as many special energies as you want from your hand to your Pokémon in the play. When do we use Evil Toll Amazing Rare? Well, you usually draw two prize cards with Nagalor's GX attack, and then you usually also draw one or two prize cards by attacking with Jet Pierce, Nagalor's main attack. I mean, thanks to Big Charm and also the fact that it already has 280 HP, you probably won't be knocked out right after using its GX attack. And so you will probably draw 
three or four prize cards with it alone. And if a Pokemon knocks out Nagaror, do you think that Pokemon will be a one prize Pokemon? I doubt that. It will probably be a VMAX or a GX or a tag team Pokemon. And that is why we always try to have one big hit every single game with Evil Soul, which is usually the last attack you wanna do. But sometimes, if you have a perfect setup, it might even be the first attack you do or the second. It depends. We have three different attackers and in total four different attacks. So depending on the game you're playing, on the matchup you're playing, you will know what's the best attack to use every single turn. You're not gonna always use Evil Soul to win this game. As I told you, sometimes you're gonna use Nagalore and then Cramorant and then one more Nagalore because they're much easier to power up. But we have 14 energies. Nagalore needs three. You still have 11 energies to power up Evil Soul that plays five energies. So you can usually set up an Evil Soul and use it to attack. Of course, you need to find a way to draw all those energies, but this list is meant to be as consistent as possible. This is a Jirachi-based build. I play four Jirachis with four scoop-up nets that are pretty good also to remove Pokémon from the game because the bench fills up very quickly in this deck. And there are two switches. They help using Jirachi more often and are also useful against Picarom in case you are paralyzed. The only supporter we are playing is Professor's Research. We play four copies of it, and thanks to the Jirachi engine, we, are tr we try to avoid using Professor's Research when we don't have Porygon Z in play, because every single energy you discard is one less energy to power up Evil Top. We also have Boss's Orders. We play three, they are very important, because you, want to, you, you never want to deal 180 damage to a Zacian. In order to find our Pokémon, we have four Quick Balls, of course, and also four Pokémon Communication. Pokémon Communication has a great synergy with Scoop Up Nets and Jirachi, by the way. I play two Dennis and one Crobat, this is a standard number. The Porygon, Porygon Z line is only 303, because you only need one Porygon Z every single game. I mean, once you set up a Porygon Z and you have powered up a Nagalord, people are not gonna try to knock out that Porygon Z. There are also four capture energies, because we want to make sure we can find both Porygon and Nagalord and Jirachi at the beginning of the game. I also play Mew because I don't like Cremoran to knock out my Porygon before it becomes, before it even becomes a Porygon Z. And I also don't like it also to be knocked out before it can attack, so when you're playing against uh, a Temposar, they're usually gonna try and knock out something on the bench with Cremoran. But if you can bench a Mew as soon as possible, or a second Porygon, that's pretty much the same thing, then you should be safe. Mew also helps a lot against Picaron. The energy line is pretty straightforward. We play four Aurora energies because you, you can't play without Aurora energies in a deck like this. Four capture energies. Sometimes you don't, you don't even use them, but we are playing a stage two deck. We wanna make sure we are as consistent as possible. Sometimes I wish there were twin energies because twin energies are great on the Evil Soul, but since this deck only uses Evil Soul as an extra attacker and only once in the game, I can guarantee you that you can power it up without too many problems even if you don't play any twin energies. There are three hiding energies and three horror psychic energies. Sometimes you wish there were more, sometimes they are just more than enough. You only need eight energies to implement this strategy of Nagalord and Evil Soul. You use two attacks with Nagalord and one with Evil Soul. It's eight energies, you have 14. What I'm afraid of when I play this deck is a Seniscore that sets up too quickly, but I can respond with an Evil Soul if I have a good star. They don't play Marnie, so that should, that should happen. And Temposar is not the best matchup because they don't always play down a three price Pokemon, but they usually do. There is Reshizard, and so you can try and implement the same strategy against Reshizard. I know this deck is not as consistent as most tier 1 decks are, but it is pretty consistent. And I think this is a great way to play Evil Total Amazing Rare. So if I call your attention guys, and you still need some cards to build this deck and you would like to play it, you can go to buy PTCGO codes. Buy PTCGO codes is a great place to get your PTCGO codes, and if you use the code WEEVAL, you will get 5% off. And now, let's check out some games. And my hand mm. could look better, definitely. 
but it might even be worse so i can really complain i mean i can get a jirachi thanks to, to, to this capture energy and that jirachi will let me do star wish twice which probably would be enough to have a shot to play in this game so am i up against any turnitus yeah okay that's not a good draw at all for jirachi mm -hmm. okay there is only one left four rare candy four professors research how about quick boss communication yeah we pretty much everything we need we have it except it's in the deck jirachi Do you want to start with a quick ball? You know what? I think I do. But I don't need to use it right away. Or do I? If they marnie me, well, if they marnie me, I'm probably glad they do. No, I, I just want to use quick ball now. I just get a Naga Lord. Okay, so if they marnie me, there's no problem. If they don't, uh, it's a problem. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be looking for a rare candy next turn. Okay, so first thing they do is marnie. <laughs> it's so easy to get a marnie on first turn, I can't believe it. But this time I'm glad. That's the reason why I played my quick ball. Okay, so I'm I got a pretty nice hand. Next turn I think I'm gonna be benching Cremorant and use Crobat and then a Stellar Wish because I might attack. The odds of hitting a Porygon Z or a Pokecom are pretty high. Rapid fire poison. That damage will never make a difference. Well, I might as well use it. So my goal for this turn is to attack with a negative to GX attack. Okay, so they're trying to put more energy into play. Quick ball is a pretty good draw. So Cremorant is not usually a card that I need in this matchup. Do I want to discard this Cremorant? You know what? I don't think that I need it. I don't think that I need it. I might start getting an Evil Toe. Just to thin the deck and draw some more cards. Okay, that's awesome. Awesome. Great. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of an energy. That's unfortunate, but I think I have to do it. I, I still have most of my energies in the deck, so it's no problem. I need two more energies. I still have my supporters, still Stellar Wish. Uh, I got everything. Okay, I drew everything that I needed. I also have Big Charm, which is pretty relevant in this case. Let's use Stellar Wish first. Professor's Research. Wow, what a hand. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna use Evil Tal, but I, I might as well do that. So we've got the perfect hand. Discard this one, not gonna use it. Switch, same. And no Jirachi for now. I mean, I got four, I'll probably draw into one now, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I can attach one more energy here. And not get anything. Next turn, I can Professor's Research and the Dene. Chaotic Order. 
I mean, <laughs> I had three energies in the prize cards and that's exactly what I'm gonna get. No bosses order, so that Evil Toll and that Porygon Z will stay in the bench waiting for their time to come. So I'm not sure I'm gonna attack with Evil Toll next turn. Might even be safer to use bosses orders onto that Crobat. And if they bosses boss bosses order up my Evil Toll, I will do the same with the second Crobat. If they don't, I will knock out anything with Evil Soul. So if they had a perfect setup, they would fill their bench, uh, poison me, evolve two Toxic Rocks, but it's a lot of effort. And one good thing, we've got an amazing ability in Nagalord. Okay, so wow, that's an, a really awesome start. I. I can't see myself losing this game, but of course when you when you say things like this one I just said, it's one of those times when then you lose, so... <laughs> okay, attach here one, one more. Uh, why not? I'm also going to put this Jirachi into play. And Jet Pierce. And I'm gonna draw one Hiding Energy for sure, although I don't need it. And second Nagalore, do I want it? Probably gonna. Dis I might want a second Nagalore, I mean. I mean, my opponent needs to... Yeah, there's a lot that my opponent should do if they wanted to win this game now. Pierce, okay, there is none of these supporters I was fearing they would find. <laughs> because uh, with the Marnie, they would remove all those good cards from my hand. Okay, that's just it. So now, let's try! Let's see if we can knock out that Eternatus. I only need one Aurora Energy and one Psychic Energy, or two Aurora Energies. So let's see what I can do. Mew. Mm -hmm. I guess the first thing to do is Jirachi. Pokecom. I mean, I, I can just thin the deck a little bit. And save this Nagror that might come in handy later. Not, not gonna need this. I've got three energies, I need to hit two. So, get back this Jirachi. I have no problem sending this Evil Toll. Attach one to Crowbar. It does retreat. Oh, thank you, man. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, guys. I don't want to miss it. I am missing it. I didn't retreat yet, so... Mm. <laughs> Cause I could remove one extra card from my deck with Jirachi, but then I wouldn't be able to retreat. Probably better to play it safe and just do this. I have three energies, I need to hit two. Please, please, I wanna hit them. Come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here we go. Perfect game plan, we did it. One turn in advance. Amazing distraction. Wow! <laughs> That's a matchup not too difficult to tackle. It depends on, on our start, which looks pretty good, to be honest. 
Well, I think I also am gonna draw one extra card, so thanks. That looks like an updated version of ADP, Rusted Sword. Okay, so my Nagalor needs, absolutely needs, a big charm. I'm glad they played them. They're choosing their active Pokemon. So now, what do I want? I I think I I can just get the Nagalor and try and charge it with, before using any the Denis. One extra card for me. Second Jirachi is always good. Professor's research is even better. So I think I want to start by using Stellar Wish. Second Quick Ball. So my start is just amazing. Uh, I will get rid of boss's orders in order to get a Nagalord. So let's see what we got in the prize cards. Okay, the situation doesn't seem too bad. It's pretty good. Uh, do they play hammers? Should I attach? I think... Uh, I think I want to do this. And then use one extra stellar wish. They will give me a Pokecom. And so next turn, I might be able to find myself a, a, what's it called, a rare candy. Not even sure, I'm not even gonna touch the energy, because if they, if, if, if they use Crushing Hammer, it's bad. I mean, I'm not even, I'm, I'm not gonna attack anyway on my second turn. So hopefully they're not gonna Marnie me. I still have all my Dedenes, I have a Jirachi in the active position, so... Wow! That is definitely something I did not expect. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. Hopefully I can find a rare candy right away. Wow, what a start! I mean, I could even try and go for an evil tool dong. 5, 9, 12, I've got all the energies. Should I try? Mm, I'm wait I'm about to waste an energy though. Because yeah. Should I play it safe or I mean I just wanna play in the best way possible, so I'm just gonna go do this. Would have been fun to try. <laughs> but I just wanna, I mean, I've got a perfect start, there's no need to to overdo it. I, I think I would have done it. <laughs> so touch a capture energy. Again, an Ivelto. I can attach an energy, no reason not to. Um, yeah, just, let's just take it slow. I mean, I just wanna use Jet Pierce. I normally wouldn't like doing an attack like this, but they're in a very rough spot. Okay, so they do play hammers. They do play two hammers and two heads. Pretty interesting. Skyla, so... With the hand they had, they're using Skyla to get at the Dene, so wow. <laughs> Still got 10 energies in my deck. I wonder what they had. In wow, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, and they, they weren't even weird cards. I mean, sometimes you see players play, I don't know, cards like Turbo Patch, those cards that don't give any kind of consistency to your deck. And so they, they easily lose or draw too many cards. Uh, and they can do anything anyway, but in this case that was the, that wasn't the problem Okay, so I'm about to draw two prize cards here then Yeah, I mean I could even go for a boss's orders, but no, I'm not gonna do that 
I, I need, what am I even saying? I need to draw energies. So you know what? I'm, I'm gonna get a crowbar and then Professor's research. Crowbar so I can draw four cards. I think I'm gonna win this game by only using one Nagalord. There's one energy that I will attach right away. Mm, this Jirachi, I don't think I'm gonna need it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I need one more energy and I still have the Dene, so I'm pretty confident that I will do anything that I want. Okay, okay, we're fine. I will attach this. Uh, I don't want to attach any more energies to Cremorant because they might just boss it out or discard uh, the energy. So I will just take two prizes. Okay. So now, next turn, I'm gonna use Negalord's GX attack and set up a Cramorant. Okay, so they're about to fill my bench, which is not uh, the best thing. If I had a boss's orders, would have been pretty good as well. I could even try and go for an evil toll, but I'm not sure it's the best call. I mean, I could. Okay, crushing hammer. One more hit. Tool scrapper. Without ADP, that's not a big deal at all. Did I just attach a water energy to that mobile? ADP. So they are trying to go for the ADP GX attack. Interesting. Intrepid Sword, wow. My opponent's deck is not working at all. <laughs> uh, I will attach this again. And I also will try and power up Cramorant. And now please just give me an energy. Okay. Only one. <laughs> so I will attach it and get rid of second Nagalord. And I will hold on. I will wait for before attaching this one. Now it's chaotic order time. And I've got plenty of options to win this game. Yeah, second Dedana is always good in case they marnie me or something like that. I'm one boss away from winning. Okay, one more crushing hammer. One more heads, man. <sighs> Marnie. That might actually be good for me. How many professor teachers do I have left? None. Wow. I didn't. Okay. Okay. We got it. Oh no, we don't we don't have it. I mean <laughs> we don't have the boss's orders. Okay, then it's gonna take some more time. I mean no, what am I even saying? I can attack with Cramorant. I've got three energies. Great. Again, let's retreat and knock out with Cramorant. GG. Okay, I've got a terrible starting hand. I mean, it could be worse, of course. <laughs> but it could be much better. So, oh, that's a terrible draw. Let me get rid of a professor's research. And the only thing I can get is a Porygon. And hopefully it won't be knocked down next turn. That's a terrible start, yeah. 
Because if, if I didn't have two Porygons in my hand, it would have been much better. So they don't seem to have had a good start either. There's a Heatran. Crobat for one, okay. So I mean, I'm desperate, but you look even more desperate than I am, okay. No, I wish I had drawn a rare candy, but I knew it wasn't the easiest of the things. Uh, big charm. Why not? Okay, so I mean, I, I think I just set up a Porygon Z second turn, but there is still too much to do. I could attack with Crowbar, but why would I want to? There are no rare candies, right? I. I, I think I have an idea, let's see. Let's see if this works. Because I can get back that Jirachi with the capture energy that I can attach to Crobat. Because why not? Jirachi. And I might even find a quick ball with this Jirachi. Who knows? I did find a quick ball. I mean, Professor's teacher was good as well. But this is much better. Get rid of a Crobat. Uh, boss's orders. I, I wish I had a Crobat. Second big charm. Let's put it here. There's no reason to waste this energy, so I'm just gonna attach it to Porygon Z. My start wasn't too good, so I don't expect to be able to attack. Exactly, and... We all want to attack with Crowbar. It's 80 damage. Doesn't help with math. No, there really is no reason to... Why should I attack with Crowbar? I think I just wanna... Wait one more turn. And next turn I'll start attacking. My opponent had a bad start too, so... There's the VMAX. I already have Evil Tall and Aurora Energy. And there is still one more than any. So next turn, that's what I'm gonna try to, try to do. They are getting rid of plenty of resources. Two welders, a gun. Sand Scorch, Energy. Big Charm. Okay, there's the knockout. So it's time for me to try and take a knockout with Iltal, although three energies are gone already. But we are here to try, guys. So I'm gonna do my best. Cremorant, because that, that might be useful sometime in the game. Let's see. <gasps> whoa, 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 what is, what is this hand? I, I, I mean, I'm glad I drew it, but that would that would be a terrible hand normally. <laughs> uh, I think I want to save some room for the Dene, but no. I mean, I'm just gonna get a Nagaro for next turn, or do I want to use Cremorant? No, I wanna I wanna save. Some... <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, I guess just get a Nagalord. And wow, <laughs> I just can't believe it. I just, wow, amazing destruction. Okay, <laughs> oh, I can't believe we put this off with such a bad start. Wow. <laughs> and I'm kind of ready to attack with Nagara next turn too. I mean, do they have a knockout? They only need a welder to power up their Heatron, but I don't think they have it. <laughs> wow. That was unexpected. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so 
So unless they do something, I'm, I'm just gonna do that again. Just amazing destruction for game. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I won't forget this game. Are you enjoying this video? Well then, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel. I plan to make more content in English and I'm also streaming in English once a week. And my start looks pretty good. Okay, this looks like a like a Picarom, just a Picarom deck. I've got Porygon, I've got Rare Candy, I've got nothing else. But I probably have two Stellar Wishes before uh, before my my second turn. So unless we get married or something bad happens, like we miss both Stellar Wishes, we should be fine. Professor's Research is not the best card at the moment, but it's not it's not bad at all either. Uh, I think. I mean, they might use their hammers, but we'll probably discard both energies next turn. So that's that's a risk I'm I'm willing to take. I can I can use one more stellar wish. I can retreat for free. So I'm gonna use it while I can. Switch. I might wanna have a double stellar wish next turn too. Let's see what my opponent does. My hand is pretty solid. I just need a Porygon Z and I'm ready to go. Now they're looking for a way to retreat. They found it. Do they have like a Crushing Hammer, Marnie? Crushing Hammer. Good. Quick Ball. Okay, so if they're grabbing at the Dene, that's an easy prize for us. Okay, Tapu Koko, so they sure do have an amazing hand. Research, okay. No Marnie. Got rid of Incineroar, interesting. Interesting addition. Too bad. I knew there was a risk, but I hope they missed. Quick Ball is always good. I hope I can find myself a Pokemon communication. Okay, here it is. So... I think my game plan now is... Getting rid of Jirachi and send Evil Toll. Poke come it away. Get a Porygon Z. Evolve. Well, I guess I want a Crobat for first. I have Mew. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I can still use a stellar wish before. Quick ball is perfect, so I, I'm not gonna waste this capture energy. So yeah, the deck is performing really well. Get this Nagalord. Play down. Capture energy. Probably want to play play down a Mew. Why not? I mean, yeah, that might be an issue in the future. So I'm just gonna play down Mew. Get back Jirachi, Nagalord. Keep some room for the Dene. Just give me some. Oh man. Okay. I I found my energies. I sure did. <laughs> And, well, no reason not to attach one extra energy here. 
not gonna get anything for now. And I'm going to use Chaotic or a GX because there's no reason for me to deal 180 damage to a Bolt Hound. So we've got awesome prize cards. We had a dead hand, but now things are looking much better. And do I want a Quick Ball? What do I want to get? Maybe a Porygon to discard. Or a Quick Ball for what though? Why would I want a quick ball? Hmm. I think I just wanna Porygon Z just to discard it. So let's see what my opponent does here. I might Probably I should have taken a quick ball so that I could get a boss's orders in, ca in case they play down a Crobat or the Dene. Okay, Team Yell Grunt is definitely not a supporter that is useful against my deck since uh, I can attack as many energies as I want with Porygon Z. Oh, but you use it with Reset Stamp. <laughs> yeah, okay, in this case it was pretty good. But I found my Aurora Energy. Okay, so they're using Electrify once again. They didn't attach, that's interesting. I didn't find anything, so I... Yeah, these five cards are all trash. And I think the only thing I can do is just put some pressure on this Boltund. And then I won't be knocked out but if they play down at the Dene, I can win with a Cremorant attack whenever I want. So that's probably my game plan. And as soon as I draw prizes, I've got plenty of good resources here. I could even complete this knockout with Mew. Okay, this Marnie is pretty good. I appreciate it. Okay, I've got a boss's orders, which is pretty good. These crushing hammers could be huge. Okay. I don't like that. Because now I'm I have nothing again. Oh man. I've got nothing once again. Now that's a problem. <laughs> I can take a knockout with Bolton with Mew on Bolton, but I did not expect not to be able to do anything with my hand. So I could use boss's orders onto that Tapu Koko to try and slow them down somehow. These crushing hammers, I hate that card. I think I should just do this. I'm gonna touch this energy because they still have one crushing hammer. <laughs> and I'm d I don't wanna know how it's gonna end up if they, if they hit it. So now I can take a knockout, a knockout and I can attack with Cremorant. No, there, there is still no Dedena in play, so not yet. I wasted some energies, not too many. Okay, there's a Marnie again, but please help me this time. Oh! <laughs> and there's another Crushing Hammer Heads. Good. But there's a Dedene, and that's all that I needed. There's a Mewtwo. So they still have to take... Okay, yeah. I mean, if I don't break again, I should be able to win. <laughs> because I'm two attacks away from winning. And I attack first, because they too, they too are two attacks away from winning.
I mean, I think this is just this is the only thing to do. Hopefully, they won't bosses order up this Porygon, although although they will, but there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I could attach one more energy, but this energy I need to use for Cramorant, so I will just one energy doesn't make a difference anyway. So it's two here, and why not one here? So these Marnies were really a problem. Oh, so it was, I, I didn't remember it was priced. <laughs> Good to know. So now, I mean, if they don't stamp into two and they don't use bosses or this onto Porygon, I could potentially still win. I have plenty of rare candy, I still got a Porygon Z. I mean, I'm not in a good spot. I wasted too many turns. Okay. That was unexpected. That was really unexpected. Okay, I... Okay, let's see. I mean, I haven't won yet. I didn't win yet, but I think I'm about to. Okay. So let's see. I should have enough resources to do anything that I need. We've got Professor's research from the prize cards. Let's see. Okay. We missed everything we could have missed. I need last scoop up net. I found it though. So maybe Maybe there is a way. <laughs> okay. I will probably have to rest after this game. <laughs> Let's just get a read. I don't know. Uh, Jirachi. How many energies do... I have so many energies left. I, I didn't realize I had so many. <laughs> I don't even want to touch this big champ. I just want to draw one energy. Okay, we got so many. Well played, man. Wow. <laughs> I'm so tired now. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.